Good morning, everybody. Live and live. All right, we are all set. Amber, I hope you're here. <laughs> I hope you're here. Um, okay. I just had a thought, but I'm going to wait on that. Okay, so September 28th. Happy Wednesday morning. In our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, no better place to be than wherever you are with Jesus. Good morning. Um, so, Jesus' gift of prayer is what we're going to talk about this morning. The text is John 17, 24. Pretty good idea. We'll probably just read all of John 17 at the end. Um, so... Let's just jump into it. Father, I desire that they may be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory. Now, see, they've got those little dot, dot, dots like they left some of it out. So I'm going to already go to the Word and say, Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am so that they will see my glory, which you have given me because you loved me before the world's foundation. At least the whole verse from the Christian Standard Bible. So, when we pray in adversity, we may not see the full answer until we come into the peace of heaven. When we pray in the face of danger, we may not recognize the hand of protection until we are in his care. We often forget to pray <clears throat> when we are enjoying times of prosperity, security, and freedom. Yeah, because we feel like we don't need anything, but we need guarded. We need um, as much then of the Lord as any other time because our flesh doesn't know, you know, we and ourselves don't know how to handle the good times either, um, how to not get prideful in them because of them. Um, how to not mishandle, if it's prosperity, mishandle our funds. Um, you know, if it's power, mishandle that, mistreat others. There's so many things, so many things that we just have to have the Lord for, for his guidance, to do it the right way and to be pleasing unto him, which I hope is what we're all shooting for. So... Yet, this is the most critical time to pray so we do not become selfish, arrogant, and captivated by the world's charms. Yeah, what Billy said, what Billy Graham said, right? Good morning. So, we have learned to harness the power of the atom, but we have not, nor will we ever, learn how to harness the power of sin without God's help. Amen to that. People can be more powerful on their knees than behind the most powerful weapon made by man. Yes, yes. Because fear not um, the world or anyone who can, who can destroy your body, but fear the one who can cast your soul into an eternal hell. So that's where the true power lies, in the supernatural. So prayer has eternal value. We will never know the full glory of our prayers until we are in the presence of the one who answers them. Oh, in his presence is fullness of joy. And if that's so here in his presence, imagine in his physical presence. Mm. There's no words. There's no words. Jesus is praying for us today right where he is in heaven eternal just as he prayed for us while he was on earth. Mm. We should thank him every day for this wonderful and precious gift. And, you know, we talked about that yesterday when they pray without ceasing, how, you know, Jesus lives to pray for us. And what an encouragement, what a blessing, what an incredible thing that is. Like, nobody can, that, and that's why, you know, who can be against me? God is for us, who can be against us? 
Jesus is up there praying for us. We have an advocate with the Father who is his perfect and holy son. Come on. Wow. Do you pray when everything is going well? But Jesus said to them, do you pray when everything is going well? Because according to Billy Graham, that's the most crucial time. And I'd say according to me too, because like I said, you can get proud. And, you know, that's where I really fell off in my walk years ago and um, opened up a lot of doors that have taken a lot of, uh, it's taken a lot to shut. For me, um, was was not staying it's kind of like you may feel like okay I got what I prayed for and I'm just gonna enjoy it oh I'm gonna stop my coffee off the island I'm just gonna enjoy it uh no 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 yes enjoy it I mean that's he he wants to to bring you joy but find your joy in him um you don't ever arrive at a point where you don't need him Never, ever, ever. So, good stuff. And I want to look at the entire chapter, of course, because Jesus begins this chapter praying for himself, then for his disciples, which is the section, oh no, all believers is the section we were in. This is right before he's betrayed and arrested. In John 17, let me get a sip of coffee. Teacher, what shall I do? Coffee in the Word every morning. Woo, y'all should try it. Jesus spoke these things, looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son so that the Son may glorify you. Since you gave him authority over all flesh, so that he may give eternal life to everyone you have given him. This is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and the one you have sent, Jesus Christ. And I have glorified you on the earth by completing the work you gave me to do. Now, Father, glorify me in your presence that with that glory I had with you before the world existed. He always was. And he is, and he is to come. Our minds can't, and that's why a lot of people doubt, because they want to make him in a box like we are. This flesh is our box. We can't, we can't get out of it, um, of our own power. But he's not us. He's not human. He's not man that he should lie or be confined in any kind of way. Uh-oh, my Mac battery is low. We'll see how long it lasts. See if it gets me through the chapter. Surely it will. I'll leave it plugged in while I'm at work today. So, I have revealed your name to the people you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Hmm. Now they know that everything you have given is from you, because I have given them the words you gave me. They have received them and have known for certain that I came from you. They have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I'm not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, because they are yours. Everything I have is yours, and everything you have is mine, and I am glorified in them. I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by your name that you have given me so that they may be one as we are one while I was with them I was protecting them by your name that you have given me so that they may be one as we are one what a beautiful hey babe what a beautiful beautiful prayer and beautiful thought that that we may be one with them as they are one with each other Mm. I guarded them, and not one of them is lost except the son of destruction, so that the scripture may be fulfilled, which um, destined for destruction would be Judas Iscariot, who betrays Jesus in the next chapter. Um, that scripture may be fulfilled. Now I'm coming to you, and I speak these things in the world, so that they may have my joy completed in them. 
I have given them your word. The word hated them. The world, I'm sorry. The world hated them because they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. So take heart when the when the world, you know, it's hard to not want to please people and not want to get people's approval, but a lot of people's approval is really just basically God's disapproval. Think of it that way. The world is not on our side and they shouldn't they shouldn't be too fond of us. Um, I'm not praying that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. I sanctify myself for them so that they may also be sanctified by the truth. Mm. I pray not only for these, but also for those who believe in me through their word. So the ones that they're going to reach. He's praying for us now, you know, all those all those years ago. And he still is today. The Bible says that he lives to intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. May they all be one as you, Father, are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us, so that the world may believe you sent me. I have given them the glory you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. I am in them, and you are in me, so that they may be made completely one, that the world may know you have sent me and have loved me, have loved them as you have loved me. <clears throat> so good, so good kind of hard to comment when it's Jesus talking you just got to read it and just soak it in and let it fill your heart mm. father I want those you have given me to be with me where I am so that they will see my glory which you have given me because you loved me before the world's foundation which was today's verse in part they didn't include the whole thing in there for whatever reason righteous father the world has not known you However, I have known you, and they have known that you sent me. I made your name known to them, and will continue to make it known, so that the love you have loved me with may be in them, and I may be in them. He will continue. He, will con he is continuing. He is continuing. Um... Every morning, every hour, every second, <laughs> he's continuing. So, um, yeah, it's it's hard to add to that. I'm just, I'm really refreshed and <sighs> so blessed reading that. Just reading, hearing, you know, reading the words that Jesus said to the Father on our behalf all those years before we were even born. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It brings tears to my eyes and it quiets and calms my spirit. It just kind of leaves me at this place like, oh, you know, in all, in all. So be in all of the Lord today, I guess, is, is the word of the day. Y'all be blessed and encouraged in the Lord Jesus Christ. Seek him while he may be found. See y'all tomorrow. End, end, Jesus told it. Yes, 